Hello friends, welcome back to Jersey Gardening. Today we are going to learn how to collect and save seeds for the next season. There are three steps involved in storing the seeds. Step number one is seed collection. Choose seeds from fully ripe and disease free fruits. Save the seeds that are healthy and without any cuts or damage. Start collecting seeds from your garden once the flower or vegetables have started to ripen. To collect watermelon seeds, scoop out some seeds, wash it in water to remove any flesh and dry it on a paper towel. This method is applicable to all types of melons, cucumber, zucchini or squash. To collect the seeds of the long beans, leave some of the beans on the plant until it is really ripe and dry. When it is completely dry, if you shake the pod, you can hear the seed inside the pod. Then you break the pod open and collect the seeds. For the okra or lady's finger also, leave some of the okra on the plant until it is really ripe and dry. When it is completely dry, when you shake it, you can hear the seed inside the pods. Then you break open the pods and collect the seeds. These are flowers of amaranth and we can collect seeds from them. To collect the amaranth seeds, just to shake the flower over a white piece of paper, we can see seeds falling on it. To collect the eggplant seeds, just scrape off some seeds from the eggplant, wash it in water and spread it over a paper towel and leave it on the paper towel until it is completely dry. The good seeds will settle at the bottom and the bad seeds will be floating. We can remove the bad seeds, strain the seeds through a strainer and we can put them on a paper towel to dry it. Let's collect the tomato seeds. Just to scoop out some seeds, spread it on a paper towel, remove the gel from around the seeds and dry it. Step number two is drying of the seeds. Make sure that your seeds are completely dry before storing them. Your kitchen windowsill is a perfect place to dry the seeds where they will get indirect sunlight. We all know that for the germination of the seeds, they need water, warmth and air. Step number three is storing the seeds. Seeds should be stored in a cool and dark place. Once your seeds are completely dry, you can organize them. I am using this shoe box. One side of the box, I will be collecting all the uh, seeds of the vegetables and fruits. And one side is for the flowers. You can store them in uh, envelopes or containers like this or paper bags. Whether you are using envelopes or paper bags or containers, make sure that you label them with the name of the seeds and the date of collection and the variety of the plant. See for example here I have written red pepper, capsicum, September 2020. 
okra, pepper, snake cod, spinach, watermelon. So, so you have to write the variety of the the seeds also. This is a crimson sweet. Seeds in good condition and stored properly can stay viable up to 5 years. When you are storing them, you need to remember 3 things. Dark, dry and cool place. The seed should be completely dry. It should be stored in a cool place and it should be stored in a dark place. Some people even save these seeds inside the refrigerator or even inside the freezer. I'm just going to keep this shoe box in the basement. The ideal storage temperature is below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Collecting and saving seeds is very rewarding. It's cheap or even free. We can seed swap between our friends and families. If you keep collecting seeds from your garden year after year, you will get the plants that are specially adapted to your garden or weather conditions. Hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new today. If you are interested in watching more videos on organic gardening and sustainable living, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.